welcome back to our channel. So excuse my lovely outfit. I am painting and if you guys are familiar with our channel and have been here, then you know that this wall used to be blue. It is now gray and I'm so excited. It looks amazing. So I took my mug rack down. I've been painting the last few days like crazy. So you can see all my washed mugs are sitting out there until we get the mug rack back up. But anyways, I wanted to share one of our favorite dinners with you guys and it is the best comfort food ever and it is chicken pot pie. So this is a family favorite, probably Jackson's favorite dinner. A lot of people ask me what my favorite meal to make is and it's chicken pot pie. I don't make it often because it's not healthy but I thought we haven't had it in forever. We need some comfort food during this quarantine. So I was gonna make it and I almost didn't do the video just because it's crazy, it's busy. I literally just stopped painting to come make dinner and I was like, no, I have to share this with you guys. So while it's in the oven, I'm gonna keep painting. So there was no sense changing out of my paint clothes. So please forgive how I look, but I thought I would show you guys what I am doing. So I'm gonna move this closer. You're going to need two cups of cooked chicken or turkey. I, am, I normally do chicken, but after Thanksgiving, if you have a bunch of leftovers, it's the perfect thing to make. So I've already cooked up about two cups of chicken. And of course, you guys know me, I added a bunch of garlic when I cooked it. So now that that's cooked, I set it aside. Bring you guys this way. And in this pan, I am going to add some butter. And I'm going to saute about half of a green pepper and half of an onion, just until soft. You can add more or less to your preference. Um, there's times where I add more green pepper than this, so it doesn't really matter. And while this is sauteing, you're gonna add, you're gonna end up adding three fourths cup of cooked vegetables. Now, just a personal preference, my favorite vegetables in a chicken pot pie are just peas and carrots. I don't care for like, and I always use frozen peas and carrots. I don't care for frozen green beans. I don't like potatoes in my chicken pot pie, but whatever vegetables you prefer in a chicken pot pie, you can put in. So we're just gonna do frozen peas and carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and boil this water and then I will add these and just cook them for a few minutes. Um, it's a simple recipe. You can make your crust homemade if you love to bake or whatnot and have a pie crust recipe you like. But like I said, I'm in the middle of painting. So I'm all about making my life easier. So I've got pre-made pie crust. No shame in using pre-made pie crust. Homemade, I'm sure is even better, but I just don't have the time right now to do that. I've literally been like every other mom in America right now, homeschooling, my husband's working from home and I'm trying to paint. So it's a lot I'm trying to get done. So I'm just gonna keep sauteing these peppers and onions. And then as soon as that boils, I'm gonna add the peas and carrots and I'm going to just cook them for like five minutes. You could even um, add fresh vegetables if you like. I just think it's easy to do frozen. I always make sure I have frozen vegetables in my freezer. So it's just some like this dinner, I feel like is something you can easily make with things you have on hand, especially if you're making like homemade pie crust. So, um, like I said, it's just a favorite. Everyone loves chicken pot pie and comfort food. So for this recipe, you're also going to need milk, a can of cream of mushroom soup, and then just salt and pepper. So it's really easy and it's delicious. I hope everyone is doing good on their quarantine. It's been pretty good over here. The kids are surprisingly not getting tired of like being home and together yet, which surprises me. They haven't complained about the homeschooling. Um, I've been painting, like I said, for the last few days, we are literally going to be painting our entire house. If you saw, I did a couple quick little vlogs showing you guys the process or the progress on my painting. Um, I probably won't do any more until I get maybe like the whole downstairs done. I might give you guys a little sneak peek and show you what else I've gotten done, but I'm surprised. I'm not tired of painting yet. I'm not a huge, um, painting fan and I honestly haven't minded it so far. I just used the same pan I cooked the chicken and the garlic in, so just figured it would make less dishes for me. Sorry, that knob felt weird for a second. But um, while that is getting ready to boil, I thought I would show you guys. I use a lot of times, if you guys, you know me, I use off-brand stuff. I feel like it's just as good as the name brand. So I have some Kroger pie crust. They're delicious and in my opinion, they taste just as good as Pillsbury, so for a win. And I think today I actually might, oh, 
I'm going to technically measure out my vegetables. I think I'll just, like I said, it just calls for three fourths cup of cooked vegetables. We're going to go ahead and do a cup because I like to add extra veggies, especially if I don't have a ton of um, meat in it. And that is about two cups. So like I said, to your preference, either add more meat or more veggies, whatever. And put these back in the freezer. That way I can make maybe another chicken pot pie or whatever. Because like I said, this is Jackson's favorite dinner. Aniston likes it as well. Chris and I love it. Probably my favorite dinner. You guys all know Cohen. He's not going to eat it. <laughs> so while that is boiling, I'm going to just put the bottom pie crust in. I'm going to kind of move this down so you guys can see. Like I said, I'm sorry, this was not a planned vlog, but I just had to share this with you guys because like I said, one of our favorite comfort foods and when you're in quarantine, you need comfort food, right? Am I right? Let's move it up a little bit. There we go. So I have my pie plate. I'm just going to unroll the bottom crust. It's YouTube? Yes, it is. You want to say hi? Hi, YouTube. YouTube. I got a code to play Valiant early. It's not a live, it's a video. I know. Oh, okay. But in the game, it's a closed beta. So you had to be in a stream to get a code. I was in Summit stream, I got myself a code. Clearly he's working very hard from home. Hey, hey, hey. Don't no worry right? about that, Missy. Right? Okay, so my peppers and onions are still sauteing. They're almost soft. I am going to just go ahead and add the frozen veggies. Once that gets to a boil, I'm going to um, put a lid on it and just cook them for like five minutes because this still has to go in the oven. So you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425. The whole thing takes 20 to 25 minutes to cook or until pastry is done is what the recipe says. It's an old recipe. My mom has made this for as long as I can remember and it's actually called turkey pie, but it calls for two cups of chopped cooked turkey or chicken. Um, I think she actually got this recipe a long, long time ago from a lady I used to babysit for. And it's just always been like my favorite, like I said, an ultimate comfort food. And I feel like you just cannot go wrong with something like that right now. Come on burner. And then once I get those veggies boiling and I'm going to put the lid on, like I said, and just kind of steam them. I will add the rest of the ingredients and show you guys. Um, like I said, you're going to need milk, cream of mushroom soup, and then just salt and pepper. So super, super easy. Um, and Jackson will be super excited to have this for dinner. Okay. So this, the peppers and onions are done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that burner off and bring them over here because you're going to combine all of the ingredients to pour it into the pie crust. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Bring our peppers and onions over here. Sorry, you guys, this is not a very well planned out vlog, but like I said, it's been hectic around here. I'm trying to get my painting done. I'm trying to not stay up too late at night to paint because I want to relax, hang out with Chris, watch TV. That's like, obviously, since my kids are home all the time, like all the other kids in America, um, that is my only time to myself. So I'm trying to not consume that time with just painting. So I'm trying to paint while they're awake and it's going pretty good. I get some interruptions, as you can imagine. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. That is pretty five much minutes. starting. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Second timer, five minutes, okay, two, now. two timers. All right, so these are pretty much gonna start coming to a boil. So what you are going to do is, sorry, I'm reading over my recipe just in case. I always do that, you guys know me. I have to read a recipe about 500 times, no matter how many times I have made it in my life. This time I tried to have everything out and ready to show you guys, but yeah. So you're gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And don't mind the kids if you hear them in the loft. They went upstairs to play and I was like, you guys, please just let me 
didn't let me do this video. They were actually being super quiet while I was painting and I was like contemplating like, do I even attempt to make a YouTube video because we all know how this is going to go as soon as I start it. So there's that. You are also going to need half a cup of milk. I always buy skim milk, but any kind of milk will work. So half a cup of milk. And then you're just gonna add salt and pepper. This recipe cracks me up because it actually calls for two, or sorry, one tablespoon of chopped green pepper. Who's gonna put in one tablespoon? So I always do like half a green pepper, like I said, just add it to your preference. Um, and then it calls for a half a teaspoon of salt and a few grains of pepper, just a few. So I use my trusty Himalayan pink salt all the time. I just add a few twists and then anyone when we eat dinner can add extra if they need it to their portion. And then pepper, I'm a huge black pepper fan, so I don't add a few grains, I add a lot. Like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mix this up. Um, and then I will add the chicken in and then the veggies when they're done cooking in a couple minutes. Okay, so we'll add our cooked chicken. And like I said, I just cooked this in, um, garlic because you can never have too much garlic, you know, never. Stir the chicken in. And I already have my oven preheated to 425. And I like it because it is really quick and easy to throw together. If you had like a rotisserie chicken from Costco or the grocery store, you could use it um, in the chicken pot pie. Like I said, leftovers from Thanksgiving, it makes a really good turkey pot pie. Any kind of vegetables you like or vegetables that are in season or that you have on hand are the vegetables you can use. Um, so I feel like you can really make it in so many different ways. I always have just stuck to frozen peas and carrots because that's what I like. And I add in, like I said, extra green pepper and extra onion because we love onion. I think it calls for one cup of onion. Um, you can't go wrong with onion. So that is all mixed up. This has one minute left. And I just take, oh, it might be in the dishwasher, which is clean, a slotted spoon to kind of just drain the veggies out and toss them right in. So I'm gonna throw this back in the fridge. And a lot of times with this, we don't often have that much for leftovers. We'll have like one piece left and Chris will take it to work the next day. So I'm trying to debate tonight. Sometimes we'll only have a piece of chicken pot pie for dinner with nothing else because we'll cut it into huge pieces. Like we'll cut it into fourths. I'll eat a piece, Chris will eat a piece, Jackson will eat a piece, and then we'll take the last piece and give Aniston like half of that and she'll eat it because Cohen, you know he's not gonna eat this. And then what's left, Chris eats like the next day for lunch. Tonight I'm trying to debate if I want to cut smaller pieces and do like a side salad with it and then we could have this for leftovers tomorrow so I can kind of finish painting and save some of the groceries, you know, with how hard groceries are to find right now. So I haven't decided for sure what we're going to do. I'll kind of ask Chris what he wants to do. If he wants a bigger piece, side salad, what I'm starving. I've been painting all day and I'm absolutely starving so I am looking forward to dinner. Alexa, turn all the timers off. Cancel on all your timers. Okay, so I'm just going to take the veggies and toss them right in. Hold on, I'm going to drain some of this water out and then get down to the last few of the veggies. you guys my video stopped because I ran out of storage on my phone apparently so I just poured once I got the veggies added to the mixture I poured it into the pie crust and I'll show you guys really quick I just unroll the pie crust on top and I don't do it all pretty like some people do um and I do not cut the extra crust off because the crust is Jackson's favorite part so he loves it so I leave like the all this extra crust on and I don't make it, like I said, pretty because Jackson's a huge crust fan. So we need to have big, huge chunks of crust for him. So I'm just going to kind of put this together really quick. Thankfully, I noticed before I got too far um, 
that my video cut out. So if you want, you can like flip the edges. I usually do just to press it down. I'm trying to hurry now so my phone doesn't run out of storage again. I tried to delete some photos and stuff. I'm so surprised it's literally out of storage because I don't have any games or anything for the kids on it. So and not that many pictures. And then you wanna cut a couple slits in the middle of your pie. And then you're gonna put it in the oven 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna check it after 20 minutes. And if I need to, if the crust is getting too brown, I will add a pie crust ring thingamajigger. I know, I'm so technical, you guys. But throw it in and you're just gonna cook it for 20 to 25 minutes or until the pastry is done and golden brown. So Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Once it's done, I'll hop back on and show you guys. Um, I'll take it out of the oven. I just wanted to show you really quick. All right, we've got gray pantry wall. Those are the hooks for my mug rack, so we didn't take them out because it's obviously going back up. Um, this was the wall I was going to work on while dinner's cooking, but I might work on cleaning up the kitchen instead. I haven't decided. And then I got this whole hallway done as well. So I'm super excited. It's coming along. So we will be back shortly to show you guys what the chicken pot pie looks like when it's all finished. All right, the chicken pot pie just came out of the oven. It is still like bubbling. You can hear it. it smells so amazing. So I'm going to let this sit and cool. And then once we cut into it, I will come back and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. While this is cooling, I am going to go ahead and make some side salads to go with it because that's what we decided on. So just thought I would give you guys a peek at what it looks like as soon as it comes out of the oven. Right, guys, here is what it looks like once you cut into it. It's so delicious, so tasty, and like I said, one of our favorite dinners. So comment down below if you try it, and I will try to type the recipe out in the description so you guys can kind of copy and paste it or whatnot. So anyways, hope everybody's having a great week.